Oh, no way. I washed my bike the other day. I got to go through a puddle. What a bitch. I'm not a fan of cold weather. But it doesn't mean that I'm just like, no, I'm not going out, I'm not going out, I'm staying in, stay, keeping warm. I go out, I just don't particularly enjoy it, and I complain a lot. So yeah, <laughs> you'll probably see that my vlogs, my vlogs through winter now are just going to be a lot of complaining and a lot of moaning, and I'll just probably end up being miserable. But, you know what? A miserable vlog is better than no vlog. Anyway, let's, um, let's get down to business. Make sure I've got my bag. I've got my bag. We're all good. So, what I want to be talking about today is something that's actually found its way to me quite recently. And that is bad riding habits. Now, when I first started riding, I had a little 50cc scooter or moped, whatever you want to call it. And... Honestly, when you first start riding, you are literally crapping yourself. Like you don't want to make a mistake. You want to, you, you're squeezing the handlebars and everything, and um, you're always like looking in your mirrors and all that. And to be fair, that is good. That is what you need to be for your whole entire riding career. Now, reality is that is a shocking little corner thing. That isn't it? the reality is. You ain't going to be like that. And no matter what you do, no matter how you come across riding, you are never, ever going to be able to keep up them riding standards and the safety standards. Now, you may have noticed in my recent videos, and I'm going to admit it, I have been riding one-handed a lot. And... You know, it's one of them. I, I really don't like it. <laughs> I had a few people sort of tell me, let me know, I've been riding one-handed a lot. Uh, and I, I have. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm not gonna, nah, it's not too bad. I have. I've been riding one-handed a lot. And it's just got into a habit. And it first started, and I'm going to be honest here, when I was watching the MotoGP and you kind of watch them and they're coming down pit lane and stuff, and I just thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. Now they're just kind of like, you know, one hand on the... And it it sounds stupid, but that's that's it. That's true. That's how... I just did it one day and I was like, yeah, it kind of feels comfy, this as well. And then that one day led to two days, and that two days led to four days, and it just carried on, and it never stopped. Now, the problem with that, I mean... It, on straight roads, there's no one about, okay, it's probably not too bad. But it built up areas, um, traffic on the roads, things like that, hazards. If I had to slam on, right, and I was in a one-handed position like that, if I had to slam on, am I going to be able to slam on and keep my bike from, uh, like, low-siding or... You know, making a mistake, crashing, am I? Now, I can honestly say, I don't know. I haven't got a clue, because I've never had to do it yet. But, uh, I think a bit of common sense, really, is put in place, and I don't think I probably would be able to. Or if I would, I wouldn't be able to make an emergency stop as good as I would with two hands, rather than one. So, um... Yeah, I've watched that video now a few times, and obviously I've seen a few comments on my recent videos. And yeah, it's true, I've, I have been riding one-handed a lot, and I just want to let you know that I am, you know, I, I'm, it's not like I'm going to stop riding one-handed. And, um, and, you know, that's it, because... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to promise that I'm never going to ride one-handed again, because I probably will. But I'm going to stop riding one-handed a lot, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to word it. I kind of need to stop. 
for my own safety and for others on the road you know so yeah from now on as you've seen in this whole vlog I've been riding with two hands on the handlebars and you know I kind of intend to keep it that way occasionally yeah I might just sort of sit back and relax like that but you know for the most part of it I am just going to be riding as I did when I first started but that's kind of you know getting back into that when you first start riding and you're kind of a bit you're a bit slow and over cautious you know double checking things and over time when you ride in and you're doing it say like someone like me every day who rides every day uh, you sort of you skip things you stop doing all those safety features and you kind of need the people that I have subscribed to me to sort of make you realize that you're not doing that you know and I thank the people that have told me because without without you lot sort of telling me uh, Ryan you've been riding hand, one handed a lot you need to sort of stop without that I probably wouldn't have made this video I probably wouldn't have thought about it a lot every time I saw a comment I was like oh, another one yeah I am I really am need to stop I wouldn't have done that I'd have probably just seen it in a video of my own and been like I need to kind of stop riding one handed really and then kind of forget about it and that's it um, so yeah, I, I sort of, I like, I don't know if you noticed, but I take every comment on my videos as a good comment, whether it's bad or not, and I don't, I very rarely get bad comments, I don't really have a hater yet, <laughs> which is good, over 600 subscribers and not really having a hater, I find that quite, quite impressive, I must say, <laughs> I kind of wanted to make this video not just to let you know that I've recognised I'm riding one-handed and I'm going to stop but also that you know take this video as an opportunity to think about your riding I'm not saying that everyone is doing something wrong maybe you are a really good rider you're a really safe rider you ride at the speed limit and everything fair enough but there are some people out there and you know don't deny it because <laughs> You're on video, you're putting videos on YouTube. Um, you know, just have a look at how you ride. These cameras that we have on our helmets are the best things. They capture absolutely everything that you capture with your eyes. Only now, I'm looking at that tree and later on I probably won't think of that tree, but when I come to edit, I'll see that tree and I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that tree. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so yeah, take this opportunity to sort of think about your riding and think of it as an important moment to sort of change or adapt your riding style to a safer way and um, put yourself in my shoes and think how I've been thinking where if I'm riding one handy if someone steps out in the road and I you know slam on with my right hand my left hand's still on my knee and something happens, the wheel locks up, I fall off my bike, I crash into that person. Imagine, you know, so if I had have recognised that I was riding one-handed a lot, then that wouldn't have happened. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's kind of been a deep video on it, flipping it. Another thing as well that I do a lot is uh, when I'm say riding along I just occasionally just tap the indicator in to make sure it's not, I'm not indicating now I would say that's a good habit because you see a lot and I mean a lot of riders on YouTube and on the road as well in real life on the road and they're just riding along indicating left or right and if there's a car ready to pull out to a junction there's no one behind uh, the motorcyclist but he's indicating left and he's you know to that car he's pulling into that junction and that car thinks all oh, right there's no one behind him yep yeah, i'm clear i can go the next minute bang and the uh the car takes out the motorcyclist and you know the biker has no clue whatsoever what the car was thinking you know it's one of them so i find that habit a good one 
just because you know it can get a bit annoying sometimes like I'm say if I'm editing my video and I'm like oh, for God's sake Ryan why are you pressing the indicator button like that all the time but it's kind of like a reassurance to me that I'm not indicating like that you know I'm, I'm doing it I'm not doing it now <laughs> like you know I'm actually doing it to show you but yeah that's just another thing so there can be habits whilst riding that are really good but I can guarantee that the majority of them aren't the best uh, so yeah just to conclude today's video um, just make sure you stay safe out there you know it's coming to winter now there's going to be a lot of things changing the roads are obviously freezing your tyres aren't going to get much heat into them the roads are going to soon be getting icy you just need to make sure you stay safe ride safe and uh, make sure you return home from your rides every day or every night if you ride at night time and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it i mean it might have been a bit boring i don't know but i felt like i needed to make this video today to kind of get through to people um some some habits and things so yeah Thanks for watching guys and until next time, I shall catch you in the next vlog. Cheers guys.